I would love, I would love to see a lot of these ex-fighters becoming refs and judges. There's a reason that I think that, um, uh, who's the guy that I think is the best referee in the business? Herb Dean. Herb Dean. The guy trains. The guy knows the sport. You see Mazzagatti out there? He's fucking staring around like, he's thinking I gotta pick up some milk and eggs after the fight. I, I don't know what the fuck this guy's looking at or what he's thinking. Meanwhile, somebody's getting elbows dropped on their head for two and a half minutes. The fight should have been stopped two and a half minutes ago. You know, Herb Dean knows what it's like to have an elbow dropped on your head. It just, it, 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 you know, my problem is with the judging and the refing, and I would love to see ex-fighters ref and judge. It makes all the sense in the world. Do you think Nick is doing the right thing, though, in challenging, in challenging his suspension? Do you think he's doing the right thing? Listen, uh, marijuana is illegal. You can't smoke it. There's a list of things you can't do when, when the Nevada State Athletic Commission tells you. And here's the thing with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. If you're doing something, they ask you to tell them. Just be honest. Come up front and say you did something. It's like the Alice Fall over him situation. I sit in the office with the guy and he's like, I'm the most tested athlete in all of sports. I'll never get test positive for anything. And then they ran him test at the press conference and it's 14 to 1 ratio. He lied to me. And he lied to the Mass State Athletic Commission.